On the Austrian border, it is chaotic at times. Fights break out as people wait in line for transport. These people are hoping to jump in taxis bound for the Austrian capital. But sometimes families are separated in the scrum. At this train station in Vienna, volunteers have set up a missing persons bureau. This guy just came in and he's looking for his big brother. To help people reconnect with their relatives and friends. It depends sometimes when it's like with little kids. Most, with kids it's most of the time easier because then they're somewhere at the police station or in a children's home, something like that. And then we call around or when, it, when the person has a sickness or something like that, we can call in a hospital. But it's not always so easy. These people have still not been found. Their stories are heartbreaking. This three-year-old boy was lost at sea whilst crossing the Aegean from Turkey with his family. A big wave capsized the boat and his parents don't know whether he drowned or was rescued. Outside we meet Adil from Iraq. He lost his son in the chaos on the Serbian-Croatian border. He went another way and you got separated. Yes. yes. Lots of people Love. together. Oh. And it's been difficult to find him, you can't find him now? Difficult, difficult, yes. The flow of people here is constant. Groups of young men and families queue for train tickets, whilst children wait patiently by their sides. Over the weekend, more than 23,000 people have crossed into Austria, many of them now turning up here at Vienna Central Station. Now, this area has been set up by volunteers, and people here can get some rest, they can get some food over there, they can charge their mobile phones. They can even get advice from a lawyer on how to proceed with their asylum applications. And back on the border, there's no sign of an end to the human traffic. The volunteers do their best to provide aid, but they're overwhelmed. It's, it's very surprising because uh, if you stand at the border, you see uh, people are coming and coming. And uh, if you are not here, you cannot believe it, how many people are waiting here. These people have managed to reach Western Europe, but others further down the migration route may not get through. Hungary has passed new laws allowing its army to use non-lethal force such as net guns and rubber bullets against those fleeing conflict and poverty.